Hi, kindred spirit readers. I am Royce Christian, and this is my mom. My name is Neva. Hi. <laughs> I have an article in this month's issue, which I'm so grateful for and excited about. Also, I thought it would be cool to tell you why this specific happening, if you will, this manifestation of me being in kindred spirit is so crazy. So I wrote a book on manifesting using the law of attraction and specifically a very certain method that I use. And the book is called Scripting the Life You Want. But as a little kid, I was an avid reader of Kindred Spirit. These are actually, this is what, from 2000. 2000. Uh, this one's from 2004, 2005. But I thought it'd be fun to tell you this manifesting story just so you could see how amazing the law of attraction is when it really, really works. So, Mom, uh, did I go to the store and buy these as a kid? No. No. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> No, um, I used to buy them every month and wait like till it appeared in the stores and I would read them. I'd try to read them from cover to cover because the articles were always so interesting and so even the advertisements I love to read. I love and, the horoscopes. Uh, I still do. That, yeah. That's one of my favorite parts. So I'd be reading this book and all of a sudden it would just disappear. I couldn't find it anywhere and I knew where I had left it. And sometimes a little airheaded, so maybe I would have left it someplace strange, like the refrigerator and or something. And she'd go, Royce, where's my kindred spirit? Yeah, finally I realized they were being, he was manifesting them out of my possession. <laughs> and it is. I think it's just but, called theft. Yeah, but so, um, I loved it. I was obsessed with yeah. kindred spirit. And it's so interesting because it was the magazine that really opened up my worldview as a kid, as weird as that sounds, to this idea that there are a lot of people out there like you watching and us who are into all sorts of interesting new things when it comes to the world of spirit. Um, what's crazier though is we grew up right outside of Philadelphia, which is a town on the east coast of the United States. And when I was 15, 16, 16? 16. 16. In 2000, January 2005, we moved here where we are now to LA. And that's like a 3,000 mile uh, flight drive, whatever, but we flew. So we didn't, <laughs> we didn't bring the trucks that time. That came a few years later. So I had one small suitcase and I could right. only pack a few things uh, as far as reading materials you know, were concerned. And we got here and I, I will always remember setting up my little tiny apartment with my mom and she goes, there's all my magazines. <laughs> I had been slowly over the course of the year, knowing I'd be moving to LA, taking my favorite issues of Kindred Spirit um, and putting them aside to bring. So they've always just sort of been this this good luck for me, this, this comfort. Um. Well, it's strange because I actually, I mean, each article was so well written and the, even the advertisements fascinated me. And I always used to be, a little disappointed that they were having all these workshops in England that I couldn't at the time I attend <laughs> and they look so cool and I actually remember what was in the magazine I still do well, obviously. And, and when I saw these I'm like how do you I didn't know you I, I just didn't know that he had saved them and what's <laughs> what's great is you know obviously Kindred Spirit is a magazine that is near and dear to my heart, not just because of the articles, not just because of what it is, but because to me it represents sort of my metamorphosis and the time in my life when I was in my teens that I transformed into fully embracing my spiritual side. So I have traveled the world with these and you can read all about that in this month's issue of Kindred Spirit. So here's the best part of this entire thing. Kindred Spirit did not know any of this, not about my mom, not about these, not about me having issues from when I was a child. Literally, and I was what, 11 or 12. <laughs> we all have issues from when I was a child. <laughs> uh, but Kindred Spirit and the wonderful team there had no clue that I was addicted to their magazine when they asked me to contribute an article to this month's issue. And I, I've had a lot of amazing manifestations and you can read about them in the article. I'm not gonna go on and on about them here, but pick up the issue if you wanna read the whole story. Needless to say, I was bawling in just happy, happy tears. I was so excited. <laughs> because this is the ultimate manifestation, especially for someone in this world
world. I'm new to the spiritual community as an author and to be asked to be in kindred spirit, you know, if you're anybody is, right. is a huge deal. But one of the first things that I ever did when I started to hone and create my own manifesting process, which I write about in my book, Scripting the Life You Want, was I intended to be in kindred spirit. And I am this month, so. That's great. I thought you'd love to hear that. And I just wanted to thank my mom on camera for introducing me. And I hope <laughs> you guys go out there and buy this month's issue of Kindred Spirit, where you can find a really, I think, helpful article by me, Royce Christian. And I talk a lot about this awesome person here, my oh. mom. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>